Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today is not a sad video, but hopefully an informative one because I'm gonna be sharing handbags that I recently sold and why, and I will also be sharing bags that are currently on the chopping block and why. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get this show on the road, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna begin with the ones that I recently sold, and it's funny because I literally just talked about this on Minx Monday. I was like, yeah, I go long stretches without selling bags, blah, blah, blah. And here I'm gonna be talking about a few. All right, so the first one definitely might surprise some of you. That was the Saint Laurent Lulu in the size small in the black leather. So many of you know that I fell hard for this handbag. And when the Lulu first came about, I wasn't really interested. I mean, I would hear people rave about the bag and they would talk about all of the pros and all of, I mean, all of this good stuff, right? Uh, and even then, I I was like, yeah, you know, it's kind of cool, but it's not for me type of thing. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it comes into my field division. And I was like, oh my, where has this bag been all of my life type of thing? You know, it's almost like I was discovering fire for the first time. Uh, and I, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing. I became a woman obsessed. I started doing tons and tons of research. I added it to the collection and I was super, super stoked. And at that moment, I realized why people were raving about it so much. I did end up parting ways with it. I want to say it was probably five or six months ago because even though I was excited and I did use it quite a bit, uh, I started to not, <laughs> not have the greatest fun with it because of one major thing and that is the straps. The straps, since they kind of move around uh, and even though I can appreciate the fact that you do have various ways of carrying the bag because of the, the chain strap, you can either double it up to make it a shorter, sho a shorter shoulder bag. You can uh, make it a longer crossbody chain bag. So you have different ways of being able to incorporate it, right? So I do appreciate that. However, uh, because it kind of had a mind of its own to a certain extent, uh, sometimes it would end up pulling on my hair and it was driving me up the wall. And it got to the point where I was being so cautious whenever I would carry the bag. I was like, okay, is my hair up? Do I have to put it up in a ponytail? I kind of have to I, whatever it was, but it was just, I was so focused on how I was wearing the bag and how it was sitting on my shoulder that it really took joy from being, being able to, to enjoy it, at least for me, which was such a bummer because like I said before, I was really excited about it. Sometimes it would, it would snag on my hair and pull, like it, it felt like it was pulling chunks out of my hair. Obviously that's not the case, but still, you know how like when you're just out and about and sometimes some of your handbags might have that that you're not expecting something to pull your hair and you know like pull the hair out right so <laughs> that whole element of surprise yeah that's not the type of surprise that I want uh, so I would say choice words blah 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 but uh, yeah it wasn't it wasn't fun so as quickly as it came I felt like it kind of went uh, but I will still sing its praises because, I, like I said before, I think that this bag offers quite a bit of bang for your buck. Uh, it's all leather. It's comfortable to a certain extent. You have various ways of being able to, to use it. It's not just like that whole one, one size fits all type of strap or anything along those lines. So I definitely appreciate that. And also, the leather is extremely durable. I didn't have any issues with scratches or anything along those lines either. So uh, even though I no longer own it, like I said, I will definitely sing its praises. Now, the next bag that I sold is the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag in the size small in the color of Morning Glory. Now, the only reason, the only reason why I got rid of it is because I end up leaning more towards the minis now than any other size. And seeing as how I already have a mini in the pink leather, I didn't want to have two pink leather The Tote Bags. That's it. I love the Morning Glory. I think it's such a beautiful, such a vibrant color. I love the candy pink. It's a little bit more pastel. But um, yeah, I didn't want to have two the tote bags, two pink the tote bags. Uh, when I first posted it, people were like, oh my gosh, you don't like these bags anymore. Why? Why? I'm like, no, I do. I do. I just don't want to have two pink the tote bags. That's it. I just want one and I love the mini size. So that's why I parted ways with it. Now the last bag that I sold was the Paulen number no. one mini in the gray leather. Now this was my first Paulen bag, the first one that I purchased when I first read an article on either the purse blog or on the purse forum, I can't remember. And I was so insanely intrigued by them at the same time I was really nervous because you can only buy it through their website and I didn't know what to expect. And uh, luckily for me, it was better than I anticipated. 
did and it started my love for pollen. Uh, but with this bag, the reason I sold it is because I no longer reach for it. There's actually one pollen bag. There's two pollen bags that I reach for more than uh, more than anything else. And because of that, this one, it had been, I think it was probably like six or seven, maybe longer than that. More, almost like closer to a year that I didn't, uh, that I hadn't used it. And um, yeah, when I took it out for its last spin, it just didn't spark the joy that I once had for it. The handbag was somewhat comfortable, although I will have to admit that the chain strap that it had can sometimes be a little too uh, uncomfortable if I ended up packing, packing it in, you know, uh, as I have a tendency to do, because we all know I try to carry everything with me. Uh, but if you do carry a little bit less, it wouldn't be such an issue, but sometimes it would end up digging into my skin. But all in all, I just didn't end up reaching for the bag by any means whatsoever. All right, now let's move on to the bags that are currently on the chopping block. Now with these handbags, what I like to do, I usually like to take them out for one last spin. When I do that, I feel like it really solidifies what I love about the bag and what I don't like, like about the bag. And it also helps me to figure out if the pros outweigh the cons or if the cons outweigh the pros. Uh, and doing that, in my opinion, I feel has really helped me to not get seller's remorse or have any regrets when I end up selling my handbags because I give it one last shot and I'm really I'm really methodical I'm really just calculated about what I like and what I don't like and I'm very honest with myself you know if there is a shred of doubt that I don't want to sell it or I'm kind of hesitant I won't sell it until I know for a fact I can part ways with it and I'm good with it because otherwise I feel like that's when, you know, uh, doubt or the regrets might start to creep in. And so far I have never experienced that. If it takes a little bit longer to make up my mind, so be it. I'd rather take a little bit longer in my decision than just doing a quick decision and then regretting it later on, you know? So that's a little bit of uh, advice that I can give if you're thinking about selling your pieces. Now the first bag that is on the chopping block shouldn't surprise you, but that is the Marc Jacobs the tote bag in the medium size in the argan oil brown leather. The only reason why I'm thinking about selling this bag is because as you guys just heard me say, I end up leaning more towards the minis. So I want to sell this to get the mini in the argan oil because I think that this is such a beautiful shade of brown. This was actually my work bag for about six or seven months. And since I have moved into a new work bag, I don't end up reaching for it anymore. I just haven't fully decided because when I have used it for its last spin, I'm like 50-50, you know, go for the mini, go for the mini. And the other part of me is like, no, hold on to it for a little bit longer just in case I decide to move back into this as a work bag. So uh, until I make my decision, it is still on the chopping block, but I do think it's beautiful. I just have a feeling I'd get more use out of the, or I'd get more out of the, the mini because I'd be able to use it a little bit more in my everyday life instead of just as a work bag. But like I said before, it's more than a work bag. It's just the way that I end up incorporating this size into uh, into my lifestyle because it fits my laptop in here perfectly. It fits my, my GM agenda. Sometimes it can get pretty heavy just with how I end up filling, you know, filling this bag up. But even when it's fully loaded, I don't feel like it's like uncomfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm lugging around a brick either because this, this leather is lightweight but durable and comfortable at the same time. So I don't know. Next bag that is on the chopping block. This one is not going to surprise anybody because I did talk about it in one of my The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly videos and that is the Dragon Diffusion Santa Croce in the red leather. So I was really stoked about this bag. I heard so many great things about this brand. They have so many different silhouettes, different weaves for their handbags as well and I love this red not to mention it didn't break the bank. So I was stoked, right? Uh, however, however, not the first time, but the second time that I wore it, I experienced color transfer. And the first time I didn't notice it or it wasn't apparent on my clothing because I was wearing dark colored clothing. Uh, the second time I was wearing a white t-shirt and because I was carrying it on the crook of my arm, I had a stain on my shirt, probably about that big, uh, on the bottom. And I was like, what, what the hell, where, where did this come from? You know, it didn't even cross my mind that it could have been this bag. Obviously that's a little bit more apparent now, right? Uh, but I thought about getting a type of sealant to seal in the color. That way I don't experience any type of color transfer on my clothing. However, I will still end up getting color transfer on the, um, 
on the interior. So even if I do get that sealant for my for my clothing, I'm still gonna get it on my SLGs if I do have some light colored SLGs. And I just didn't wanna deal with it. I was like, you know what, dude? No. So this one is more, this one's definitely leaning towards like 99.9%. .9%. I'm going to get rid of it because of that. I didn't want to go through the whole ordeal of trying to get a sealant and trying to do something because I wouldn't be able to seal the color on the interior because um, you guys can see the finish there. So I was, I was bummed. I was bummed because I really like the silhouette. I love the color. This, uh, this red is so insanely vibrant. And in the sun, it looks amazing. It's just, I'm not dealing with color transfer. I don't have time to deal with like, you know, I have to wear this and I have to wear that. No, like, no, I want to be able to enjoy the bag. And if I'm going to get color transfer, no, nah, that's not, that's a deal breaker for me. Now, the next bag that is on the chopping block, uh, if you guys watched my latest MMQA, I talked about it on there, but I am talking about the Goyard Saint Louis Tote in the PM size in the color green. Uh, so this is a handbag that I have had uh, about two years now, and I was really, I was really intrigued about Goyard Saint Louis Tote. Uh, I had heard some great things about them, and I've heard some not so great things about them, especially when it came to the durability and uh, some of the, uh, some of the issues that people experience with this handbag. Uh, but I went ahead and got it and I was I was excited to have it in my collection. I know that I've said that quite a bit throughout this video, but that's the reality of it. I'm always really excited about any handbags, right? Uh, but I was excited about it and, you know, even though I do love so many details about it, I like how lightweight it is because it is such a lightweight tote. It feels like it feels like nothing. I mean, when you start you know, putting your items in here, even then it doesn't feel like it's too uncomfortable. These straps don't end up digging into your skin or anything along those lines. I do like that. I love the color that it has. I love the history that Goyard has as well. And when it came to this specific tote, it was made to be a beach bag. Uh, that way, when you go to the beach, uh, you turn this inside out, your wet clothes hit this, and you don't have to b worry about getting this lining uh, wet or anything like that. So I do like that, right? Uh, and I like the fact that it is open. You guys know I don't really end up zipping, uh, zipping up any of my totes or any of my handbags for that matter. Um, I like the fact that it came with this little, this little guy that you can take off. You can't take off this leather part here, but you can take this off and you can use this as a wallet, as a catch all what have you so I like the details but at the same time what I don't like is the sheen that it has this sheen to me makes it feel so insanely cheap and I know that some people are gonna disagree with me and to each their own but it it just cheapens the bag to me this looks like a handbag that's been sitting in the back of my closet for years you know and it's like I was digging through my closet I was like oh my gosh I forgot about this bag that's the way that it looks. It doesn't matter if I have an organizer in here because sometimes I carry an organizer, sometimes I don't. You still see these wrinkles. You still see the sheen here. And I just think it doesn't, it doesn't add anything to the bag. It doesn't make it look luxurious. It doesn't look like a $2,000 bag in my opinion. Uh, now, what I will say is that uh, I personally haven't experienced any type of cracking on the leather, uh, leather part here or on this part. Um, it's held up very well. But at the same time, it's not a bag that I always end up reaching for. So maybe if it was a handbag that I would incorporate a little bit more often, maybe then, I don't know, or maybe if I filled it to the brim, maybe then I would end up having those issues. Because if you look on the pre-love market, many of them do have the, uh, the leather starting to crack or sometimes this starting to fall apart. Uh, but so far, mine has been wearing um, very, very nicely. But again, I just don't reach for it often because... I love the color. I love the shade of green. I think it is absolutely stunning. I just don't like that sheen. So um, this one is definitely on the chopping block. I'm still 50-50 on it, although as I'm talking to you guys right now, I'm leaning more towards absolutely getting rid of it because it just doesn't make my heart sing anymore. Uh, and I have thought about going for the Artois. Now the Artois, you guys are gonna be like, dude, Minnie, it's the same thing. The Artois is a little bit different to, to the St. Louis because it has more structure. It has more structure, it has leather on the on the uh, corners here, and it also has a zipper. The zipper, I really couldn't care less because it doesn't matter to me, I, I would leave it open anyways. But I like the fact that it has a little bit more structure. Yes, it'll still have the same sheen, but I don't think it'll look as cheap. I don't think it'll look as flimsy as this does because this turns into a beautiful mess if you don't have an organizer. 
yeah, this is not the most appealing thing in my opinion. So that's what I'm kind of, um, that's what I'm kind of thinking, maybe selling the St. Louis to get the Artois or maybe just selling the St. Louis altogether and, um, you know, just leaving it at that and not going for the Artois. But I have no idea, but that's, that's currently where my headspace is at when it comes to the Goyard. Uh, all right. Now for the last two, oh man, I'm going to get so much caca for these, but you know what? It is what it is. And I am proud to admit when I am wrong. Now, Yours truly, yeah, yours truly had a handbag similar to these two, uh, what was it, two or three years ago. It didn't work out for me, it drove me up the wall, but you know what, you know what, I obviously wasn't thinking. I was like, you know what? Do not learn from your previous experiences. Why? What's the fun in that? Instead, let's justify these two because they're beautiful and it'll be different. It'll end up working out. Eh, I was so, so wrong. And I, of course, am talking about the Chanel vanities, the Chanel vanity in the small size and in the mini size. So let's talk about the small size. I had the Chanel um, small vanity in the black lambskin with the aged gold hardware and it had the little top handle. Uh, when the whole vanities came about, I will, I will fully admit, I was like, oh my God, these are so cute. They are so cute. However, I quickly learned that vanities as handbags do not work for me. I think that they are beautiful. When I see people wearing them, I'm like, oh my God, it looks so cute. It looks amazing. But the reality of it is that it does not work out for me or for my lifestyle. Um, I am not fond of how you get in and out of the bag. Uh, you cannot leave it open. You have to leave it closed. Otherwise, your stuff goes flying out. <clears throat> not to mention that if I want to get in and out of my bag, this is not this is not it. This is not it because I have to stop hold it with both hands in order to close it up. Uh, so with the black one, I got rid of it and I moved into the yellow because I was like, you know what? It doesn't have the top handle. It's going to be different. It's going to be different, Minnie. I promise you. No, it wasn't different. It's the same thing. It's just a different color. But don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful yellow caviar leather. It's a little bit more on the pastel side. I love that it has the gold hardware. I was obsessed with the fact that it has these little tiny CC uh, portions throughout the chain. Uh, it's actually called the tiny CC uh chain va a small vanity. Uh, but look at that. So insanely cute. When I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. And I threw away all of the other past experience with the black one because this one looks so insanely cute. All right. I will, I will admit it. All right. The, 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 the gorgeousness of it sucked me in. Uh, but with this one, I also liked that it came, that it has a little mirror inside as well. Uh, but you have little card slots there and it's a cute little, it's a cute little vanity. It's great in theory, but for me, it just doesn't work out. I want to be, I want to get in and out of the bag. Um, it's just, I don't know. I really wish that these vanities also came with a removable chain because this one is not removable. It is that one size fits all. It does fit cross body on me, um, you know, quite nicely. And I also like it on my shoulder, but I just, I don't have the patience for it. I really don't have the patience of getting in and out of it and having to close it shut. And I don't know, some people might think that that's so insanely trivial, but to me, it just seems like more of a pain in the ass to use than not. Now the mini, uh, the mini was a little bit of a different story because with this one, I've actually used it quite a bit. Uh, it is small, but it definitely ends up packing a punch. Yes, it doesn't fit my phone in here, but I've been able to fit everything else that I need. I've used it for a wedding, and I do think that it is so insanely cute, but at the same time, because I can't remove the strap, and whenever I want to use this as a, as like a catch-all inside of a bigger handbag, I have to put the chain in the little, in the little vanity, and it takes away from anything else that I want to carry. I absolutely love this color. This beige clair with the champagne gold hardware I think is absolutely stunning. But is it the most practical thing? No, absolutely not. I have other small uh, small items that are similar to this, kind of like the Micro Matisse. Uh, but the Micro Matisse, because it does have a removable chain, I can use it as a wallet. I can use it as a catch-all. And this one doesn't. If this one had that removable chain, it would be, I mean, it would be a no-brainer. I would use this guy all the time. But because it doesn't, it really limits 
how often I end up using it, you know, but it, it's so insanely beautiful, so insanely beautiful. So it is a little bit different from the yellow and the black that I had before. Uh, but, and this one doesn't snag as much too, or doesn't get caught as much whenever I end up closing it. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't really incorporate it into my lifestyle as much as I would like, you know, it's not like I'm going to be going to a wedding every week or every month, you know? It just goes to show that no matter what, sometimes you you just end up going back to your old habits. It is what it is, you know? Uh, but that was, uh, that was fun. So I just had to be honest with myself. I'm like, dude, let's be honest. You just bought them because they're really cute. They're really cute to look at and they're not functional whatsoever, but here we are. What can I do? I can sell them. That's what I'm going to do. But anyways, that does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information and uh, let me know, are there any bags on your chopping block that you're thinking about getting rid of and why? Let us know in the comment section down below. But I like to be a hundred percent with you guys when it comes to handbags, just because they're beautiful doesn't always mean that they're going to work out the way that you envision them. And sometimes it really comes down to actually owning the bag and using it and putting it to the test before you can fully say it didn't work out for me. Uh, and that's exactly what happened to me with these guys. Um, but um, yeah, so <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.